The Ford F-150 is by far the best-selling vehicle in North America. On average, 900,000 units are sold every year. That's 2,486 units every day and 1.7 units every minute. And it's been like this for nearly three decades. So naturally, a massive amount of options became available over the years. Right now, you can get eight different trim levels with countless amount of options under each name moniker. Back in 2010, Ford's SVT Performance Division created an incredibly capable off-road variant to the F-150, and it immediately became an icon. Three generations later, and it is as iconic as ever. Now, as 21 Savage says, this ain't no regular F-150, it's a Raptor. The third generation introduces a redesigned rear suspension, a five-link coil spring setup that replaces the rear leaf springs from the previous generation, and internal bypass dampers. All of that in English means that it's capable of this. This new suspension is so complex, I'm going to let Fox themselves explain it to you. amazing touchscreen that is one of the best and most innovative touchscreens in the auto industry right now. It features Ford's Sync 4 programming, which has Ford's Blue Cruise, which is a semi-autonomous driving mode. If you have your hands on the steering wheel, it will take you where you want to go. You have a ton of different drive mode options, just like you do in the Bronco or the Explorer. However, these ones are a little bit more suited to off-road. When Ford unveiled the second generation Raptor, they decided to put a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost in it. It's safe to say that the complaints were exorbitant. Purists said turbos over my naturally aspirated dead body. That being said, the original 6.2 that they put in the first generation Raptor had 411 horsepower and 434 foot-pounds of torque. The 3.5 has 450 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque. That's way more. The third generation Raptor does use the same EcoBoost with the same numbers, but if it ain't broke and all that. People were under the impression that because they utilized turbos instead of a big nasty V8, that the sound would not be an adequate representation of what the vehicle represents. But, well, just listen. Other standard equipment is what you've come to expect to find in a Ford. You have your box link system, your tailgate step, which can be used as a fashionable spoiler if you really commit, power opening and closing tailgate, a power inverter in the box, and a 360 degree camera. The Raptor has gone relatively unchallenged for nearly a decade. That is, of course, until Dodge pulled their act together and released a supercharged 700 horsepower V8 1500, which is insanely off-road capable. Ford clap back with the Raptor R, which will feature the 5.2 liter V8 supercharged engine out of the GT500, 760 horsepower. That's for another video though. Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.